Someone tried to break in, but they got away. I was dozing. I heard the alarm go off. The police are on the way. What's going on? I don't know. She says someone tried to break in. Better call headquarters right away. Now, let's look inside the store first. Come on. That's right. No, we didn't find a thing. It was probably a short. Ah, nothing serious, but to play safe, we're reporting it to headquarters. They say they're gonna send a guard over to stay with you tonight. Well, that's ridiculous. I don't need anyone. I'll set the emergency alarm. It'll be all right. I'll alarm says he can manage it all alone. Most modern type. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll send in the report now. Well, I wish I'd have this thing all right. I wouldn't have all this trouble. Both alarm, boys. Let's clear out. Thanks for your help, Johnny. Well, you done things like this that make life exciting. Why don't you come around once in a while for a beer? We got a whole icebox full. Give me the phone. Yes, sir. Oh, excuse me. That was very clumsy. I'm terribly sorry. Terribly sorry. Oh, good evening, Commissioner. Good evening. I see you policemen are recognized wherever you go. Unfortunately. <laughs> well, at last we meet again, darling. We were together last weekend. Were you worried about me? Last week, last month, how long is this going to go on? We used to be together every night. Yes, and you pawned your jewels and your fur coat. Al, your... the money doesn't mean anything to I me. know it doesn't mean a thing to you. All you care about is being with me. Well, I'm sorry I had to go away on business. Yes, I know about your business. For once, you're wrong. You're going to get back all your jewels, and with interest. All right, I believe you, Al. You'll stay with me tonight. I can't. I have an appointment. 
Al, is there another girl? Not at all. So long, sweetheart. <laughs> We were lucky, very lucky, but we had a little, uh, a little accident with the night watchman. Yeah. You mean he's dead? We'd better get out of town tonight. I'm not a genius, but my plans worked out pretty well up to now. And where were you while we were risking our necks, huh? With another broad? I was with the Chief of Homicide Squad, in case you're interested. An alibi has to be an alibi. Not too shaky and not too perfect. And the ideal alibi always seems like coincidence. All right, all right. No more theories, huh? I tell you, we got to get out of here fast. Talking is a waste of time. So let's cut all the philosophy and get to that shack. I say I'm staying right here. Yeah? Look, I'm still running this show, and I say that we're going to the shack. Yeah, that's what I say. And the satchel? Who's going to carry it? I am, naturally. <laughs> Both of you carry it. That way you'll keep an eye on each other. <laughs> Are you afraid either Sam or I might, uh, might try to get away with the diamonds? You might. But Sam knows better than to try it. You mean uh, it's just me you don't trust? I could take that as an insult. Can't you shut up with that damn whistling, Sam? Giving me a headache. With my alibi, I can stay right here in town. Uh-uh. You and I are seeing this through together. You found the jewelry store and the hideout. You planned the whole thing. You were going to find a fence. We'd get rid of the diamonds. Isn't that right, buddy? Your papers, please. Uh, something the matter? No, oh, just a routine check. Your papers, please. Okay. Here. Here you are. What's your destination? Uh, I'm heading south, of coast. What have you got in there? There? My personal effects? Why? Let's have a look. Go now. Thanks. Hey, you. That's the wrong bus. Take the other one. That one's going north. Thanks.
now. Here I am. Behind you. <laughs> what are you playing? Hide and seek. <laughs> Good to see you. Same here. <laughs> it's a good spot. You get a view of the whole valley, and there's no danger of anyone spotting us from below. Where's Walter? <laughs> He's where the diamonds are. What do you mean? Stop acting so mysterious. Answer me. Where's Walter? We had to separate. Why? We didn't have any choice. But don't worry. He'll be coming here soon, because he needs you. He needs you badly. So don't get impatient. Look. Listen, Walter. Eight hours through the swamps is no picnic, even under favorable conditions. But in this kind of weather, it's madness. In that case, uh, what do you suggest we do, huh? Pitch tents here uh, till next summer, huh? So get moving. Come on, let's go. What's the matter now? Get up! I can't go anymore. I can't. I've been walking for hours. Now I can't stand on my feet anymore. I want to stop. I'll say when it's time to stop. I just can't go on. Then croak there like a man. Come on. Wait a minute, Walter. Al is right. Huh? I said Al is right. You lost the way and we're tired. So let's stop a little while here and wait at least till the weather clears up. Sure, if that's the way you want it, Sammy boy. Sure, let's look for a nice quiet spot to rest in. Here, have some. Say. Why'd you do it? Do what? Well, why'd you risk your neck with us? A hundred thousand bucks. That's a pretty good reason, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, what are you going to do with your share? Oh, lots of things. Such as? A long trip. A long, long trip. You gamble with your life just to take a trip? And you? Why'd you do it? Me? I did it for a very precise reason. I want to settle down. Ah. That's a pretty good reason, too. We all have a pretty good reason, don't we? That trip really means a lot to you. You want to run away from here and leave this stinking rat hole for good, is that it? No, I'm returning. At last. Returning? What do you mean? It's too long to explain. You'd never understand. Nobody can. That's why I'm here. To understand, you'd have to have lived like I did. My father would. And so would my whole family. <laughs> it's a boring story. <laughs> I dreamed of taking that trip when I was just a boy. It was so long ago, I nearly forgot it. Well, now you'll get what you always wanted. You're taking that trip. Sure, I'll take that trip. No one's going to stop me from taking it. No one. Well, I'm going to take a look around. The path ought to be clear now. Oh. 
What were you two talking about? Oh, nothing, nothing. You know, I don't like that guy. It wouldn't surprise me if he tried to double-cross us. What are you talking about? Sam's not that kind at okay, all. Okay, okay. But all the same, I'm telling you that if he ever does it, it'll be too bad for him. And much better for us. Al, tell me, pal. Don't you agree it'd be a lot better if we split the stuff in two? No funny business, Walter. I'm warning you. We began together, and that's how it's going to finish. Who said the opposite? Did I say that? The path's only about a mile away. That's nice to know. Hey, hands off. Leave those diamonds alone. Sam, I told you, take your hands off those diamonds. You deaf or something. What's bothering you? I'm not going to eat them up, you know. I know, I know, but keep your hands off them. Everybody likes diamonds. Sam, tell me, what were the two of you talking about while I was taking a nap? We were talking about a trip Sam wants to take. Oh? Where to? Israel. Israel? Yes, I want to settle down and buy a piece of land. You mean to say one of us had a noble reason for stealing? Oh, you're really a nice, decent fellow. A fine, upstanding young man who deserves everything he gets. What do you mean by that? What do I mean? What do I mean? You know what I mean, don't you? A piece of land, a fistful of sand. Real poetic, isn't it? You mean you would exchange all those diamonds for a piece of land? Here you are, Sam. Semi. Samuel. Blood. You hurt me. your mind we gotta do something why don't you understand if we don't help him he'll die we gotta do something look save him we gotta do look nobody can do anything now Al. sam That one? That's it. Halt. Don't make a move. Michael. Oh, it's you, Al. I didn't expect you'd get here so soon. Where's the other one? You said you were three. Two. Fear, fear. It set our backs. The Bible. friend will sleep in here. Who 
stays in the barn. Well, if you mean the barn, I live in it. I'm alone. Okay, we've seen enough. How about the food? In the kitchen. You'll find enough provisions stored there for three. If you need anything, call me, Al. I won't be far away. I think we'd better make things clear right away. Meaning? We got a nice, quiet place here. The longer you and I can stay out of sight, the better for us. You got it? I got it. It's better this way. Look like a wood chopper. I only do it to pass the time. The minutes seem like hours around here. Go on. I'm not stopping you, am I? Anyway, what are you complaining about? You act like a lion in a cage. I've been here only five days and I'm fed up. With you, with myself, with Paco's Bible. You know we can't go away. He's not yet. I don't want to go away. I just like to go to town for a visit. What for? To see somebody. A new face, somebody to talk to. To eat a nice juicy steak. I've no objection to the steak. Give me a steak, Ray. I'll bring it right over. And some fried potatoes. Hey, where are you going, baby? Don't run away. Yeah. Come here. Hey. <laughs> Here's your steak, sir. Thank you. What do you have? Oh. Just coffee, please. Hi, gorgeous. Hi. What are you doing around here? Nothing. Just admiring the scenery. <laughs> Want to dance, Gorgeous? Leave her alone. Who are you? Why don't you stop bothering her? All I did was ask her for a dance. Is it your business? The lady is with me. And if she's doing any dancing, it won't be with you. So beat it. Okay. Thank you. You acted just like a knight in shining armor. I'm afraid the armor is a little rusty. Oh, yes. Can I offer you anything? No, thanks. Just a coffee will do. You're not from around here? No. You're looking for a job? Yes. What kind of work do you do? I sing and dance. Found anything yet? No. In the city, there's lots of competition. While here in the country, there's one nightclub, that's all. So with luck, I guess I can manage for a couple of weeks. And why shouldn't you be lucky? You're beautiful. And if you know your business, as I said... I talked to one of the managers. He used the same worn-out cliché, come back in a week or two. Mm. It's always the same old story. Oh, well, these are the lean years for me. Then you're broke, is that it? 
Bring us another order of steak and french fries, will you? Right away. I should say the usual thing. What will you think of me if I accept your invitation? But I won't say it. And the reason I won't is because I hate hypocrisy. My name is Al. And mine is Danielle Martin. Are you married? Partly. Uh, that bag must contain something precious the way you're holding on to it, Miss Martin. Oh, how silly. There's nothing precious in it. It's just all I've got, and I don't know where to leave it. Don't worry, everything will be all right. There's always a solution. Really? Do you have a place to sleep for tonight? No. It doesn't matter. I'll manage. Here you are. Thank you. Are you going? Yes, somebody's waiting for me. Somebody who must be worrying. Oh? Are you married? Good luck, Danielle. Excuse me, I'm looking for... Good evening. I guess you're wondering how I found you. I followed you. Because I wanted to... What do you want? Excuse me, you see, I wanted to give you back the money you forgot. You might need it. You can give it back. When no. You're... I accepted that dinner at the snack bar. That was enough. Well, you can't go away like this. Did you find a room for the night? I'll find something. Thank you again, and bye. Oh, no. A young lady can't go out in a storm like that. She'll spend the night with us. There's a spare room downstairs. Very kind of you, but uh, I wouldn't want to bother you. Oh, it's no bother at all. Good night, Al. Good night, miss. I... I hope I haven't caused you any trouble. There's only one thing I wanted. To see you again. Good night. Good night. Open a shelter for homeless women. If that broad doesn't get out of here by morning, I'll put her away. I wouldn't try anything like that. She probably won't stay long.
What's the matter? That's funny. I was just about to ask you the same thing, Al. Since when have you started writing in sand? What are you talking about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. I don't get it. Explain what you mean. What do you know about Sam? Sam? That! Look, I wish you'd tell me what's the matter. It just won't work, Al. There's no use pulling that stuff on me. You know he drowned in that swamp and nothing is going to bring him back. And I don't. I don't believe in ghosts. Sam's dead. Dead! What's eating you, Walter? You're feeling sorry for what you did? What I did? <laughs> oh, no. What we did. I'm afraid you're wrong, Walter. You killed him, remember? All by yourself. I'm the one who tried to save him. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You really tried to save him. Yeah, you really tried. <coughs> Then why the hell didn't you save him, Al? Hmm? All right, Walter, we'll discuss this later. I'm sorry we woke you. You were quarreling. Did you hear? What? What my friend and I were just discussing. Oh, no. I just overheard... the quarreling and it woke me. Well... Good night. What are you looking for? Where's the broad? Gone. Gone? How do you know that? Paco took her. She went into town. What? And you sit there like a damn idiot? She went into town. She's going into town maybe to blab her mouth off to tell everyone we got a satchel full of diamonds. That's ridiculous. She knows nothing about the diamonds. She went looking for a job. You'd better be right. Here's where you catch the bus. When's it due? In 10 minutes. Thanks for everything. Uh. Oh, Miss Danielle, can I ask you a question? Is there a chance you'll be coming back? I don't think so. Oh, we'd be glad to have you. Thank you. Paco. Thank you, Paco. today during rehearsals. If it's a job you're after, you might as well forget it. There are no more openings. Come back next month. Uh, hey, wait a second. Why do you run away like that? No goodbyes, nothing. What am I supposed to do? There are no openings. You just said so. Well, we can make a mistake, right? It's not easy to find real talent. 
Yes. What's your special? I sing and dance, but it would be better if you saw the number. I'd love to see a number. But you see, I'm not the boss. He's got his own tastes. You got very nice eyes. Come here. Why don't you sit down? Here. As soon as the boss gets here, I'll talk to him. What's the matter? Why'd you stop rehearsing? Come on, get going, get going. Up All right, go. get out, everyone in place. Come on, Harry. Now don't forget what I told you. She's got eyes like So what, in a joint like this, it's not the eyes that count. It's the rest. I'm sure you'll think the rest is pretty nice, too. Bad, not bad at a glance. What does she do? She sings, and yeah. she dances. What can you lose? She says it's a sexy number. All right, you win. Let's have a look at the number. I never steered you wrong, did I? Harry, would you please help the young lady? The boss wants to see her number. The boss wants to see it, or you? <laughs> Fine. What'll it be? Do you know the Saturday Rock? Sure. I tell you, she's not coming back. She's at headquarters. If she really went to see the police, they would have been here by now. Don't you think so? Then why isn't she back? That's what I'd like to know. I thought you were the one who wanted to get rid of her. Hello. We wondered if you were coming back. How did it go? I don't know yet. I'll have the answer this evening. I'm... I hope it works out. So I won't go on bothering you. What's the matter with your friend? He's always in a bad mood. Don't pay any attention. He's a bad character. Better leave him alone. But there's no reason to worry. You're welcome to stay here with us as long as you please. You like that kind of work? It's the only thing I can do. The way things are now, I can't be choosy. If only I'd met you before. If you had, what would have happened? You know, I keep asking myself the same question. One can always turn back. No, it's too late now. Oh, now stop it. That isn't the man I'd like to know. Which one would you like to know? The one in the snack box. That's the first time you ever called me out. You didn't like it? Yes. Why didn't you do it sooner? Why? Everything in its own time.
You said everything in its own time. You mean even love? Yes. Even love. Only, only we can't predict it. Nobody can. I think it's better this way, Al. Don't you agree? Danielle. came by and he brought a letter for you. Yeah. <laughs> what are you standing there for? Get out of here!
take that side. It's nothing. Go back to your room, Danielle. We'd better talk about it now. About what? About my share. I want it. What? You heard me. I want to take my share and go. You'll stay here and wait like me. You'll stay and wait. You don't understand me, Walter. We want to get out. We. Oui. Yes. You got it, Danielle and me. I should have expected this. It all started when you brought that broad here. No, this time you're wrong, Walter. She's not like other women. Oh, really? played a dangerous game behind my back. You turned our little business into a pleasure trip. I suppose you told her about everything. Sam. Diamonds. And the rest. I haven't told her a... Stay seated. Please. And to think I trusted you. I was wrong. Because you're an idiot. At the first sight of a skirt, you lose your head and begin telling her all about us. Tell me one thing. What do you gain by trying to act like a jailer? Why should you care if I leave? You afraid suddenly? I want to go somewhere else, another country. Mexico, Venezuela. As far away as I can get. And how do you think you'll make it? Hmm? Who knows what the police are up to? You read those stories in the newspapers. They're sitting on their backsides, waiting for us to make just one mistake. Just one. Get that through your thick skull. I was sure you wouldn't understand what I meant. But it makes no difference. I'm through talking. I want my share. Hand it over right now if you know what's good for you. Pow. Pow. Maybe... Maybe you want all the diamonds. I want my share. That's all, my share. And right away. Listens to old Paco. I knew that something was going to happen. He's a mean one, that Walter. He always looked oh. crazy to me. Al, quiet. I'll kill you, Walter. I'll make you no. pay. No. I'll make you Al, pay. Al, please, please try and be quiet. 
All I wanted was to go away. Away, far no, away. No, don't move. Shh, be quiet. Al, be quiet. Paco?
What happened? Help me. Why should I? Don't ask questions. I can't stand it anymore. Come here. All right, what's the matter? Nothing. And why did you go out? Someone called me. I didn't hear anyone. friend is sleeping now, Miss Danielle. Is he all right? Uh, he's not going to die, if that's what you are anxious to know. But he could kill, he's so mad. Uh, if, uh, if you need anything, just call out, you understand? Thank you, Paco. for my thanks. Oh, there's no need for that. I was probably destined to play the nurse. <laughs> Do I disgust you that much? Yes. Especially when you get familiar with me. You. No.
Good morning. What's the matter? I want to talk to you. That's what's the matter. Uh, last night. Maybe I was uh, a little excited. Oh, well, that's at least something if you recognize it. Don't you say that. It's been days since I've been shut up here. I feel like I've been locked in a cage. Who's stopping you from leaving? I can't go yet. But I can't stand it any longer here either. You... You may not believe me, but staying in this shack scares me to death. You can blame it on yourself. You have no reason to feel alone here. I am alone here. I can't trust anybody. Not Paco, not Al, not... Not even myself. Do... Do you believe in, in ghosts? Walter, what's happening to you? Are you losing confidence? Why are you afraid? Your nerves are ready to snap. What do you know about nerves? What do you know about instincts and feelings? Yeah. That's it. Instincts. The whole world is out there waiting for me. And instead, I'm cooped up in this shack. I've got rights, too. I want to feel and touch and smell. I can. I can touch you. I can smell you. I could... I could lead the whole world. It's right up there. It's so small. I could put it in my pocket. What's all this mystery? No, no, there's no mystery. Come upstairs a second. Are you afraid? Don't be. Come, come, don't be afraid. Come on. Look. Have you ever seen anything like it? I wish they never existed. Never existed? These things make life worthwhile. And they can be yours and mine. You never thought about that, so go on, think about it. Yours and mine. Yours and mine. Do you realize what you're asking me? Besides, we wouldn't get very far. We'd be caught. And we would end up romantically in prison. Why in prison? Just trust me. Trust me. We'll never be caught. Look, I've been in a lot worse situations in my life. This is nothing, nothing. We've got to get out. There's something the matter with this place. Walter, what's the matter? What frightens you so much? I don't understand you. I don't understand you. That's why I like you, I guess. You're new. You're brand new. Yes, and the deal with Al isn't you anymore. That's why you want to kill him, isn't it? He's too much of a coward for me to kill. He can only shoot in the back, but I couldn't shoot anyone in the back. So you'll come with me. I won't ask again. Um, I... I guess you don't know yet, but I found a job. I started last night. It worked out so well, I'd hate to give it up. What? 
A stinking salary in a lousy two-bit town with yokels staring at your bare legs? For the moment, I'm satisfied. That's what I want. I'm offering you that, and you say that... You say you're satisfied? Please, Walter. There's more to satisfy you in that little bag. More than you ever had in your life. You have to come with me, you understand? I don't want to be alone anymore, and I don't give a damn about the others. What are you saying? Weren't you the one who always wanted to be alone? What's changed? I don't want to be alone. No. No, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. All right. All right, I'll go. But not tonight. Tonight I'll have to go. They're expecting me. I just can't quit like that. They'd become suspicious. They might start looking. Tomorrow, then? Yes. Tomorrow, yes, I promise. Tomorrow we'll be far away from here. Very far. Danielle. I waited all day for you. Why didn't you come to me? I couldn't come. He wouldn't let me. Where is he now? He's in his room, guarding his treasure. He told you everything? Yes, everything. He wants me to run away with him tomorrow, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I promised I would to quiet him down, but I can't. I'll stop him, even if it costs me my life. Al, don't worry about me. I'll manage somehow. And the diamond? They're also mine. They're the only chance I've got to begin my life over. They're my only chance, Danielle. Forget the diamonds. Forget everything. Impossible. I'm sorry. Yes, you can. You're not like Walter. He can't stop, but you can. It's up to you to decide. The diamonds or us. Goodbye. Think it over, Al. Sam. If you're waiting for Al, you can wait for all eternity.
you know? Even the best plants have a way of blowing up in your face. <gasps> oh! That's right! You were going to run away together, weren't you? That's exactly what I wanted you to believe. But Al had no part in this. Do you really want to know the truth? Huh? It was I. I. It was I who imitated the whistle that frightened you so much. I who sent the letter. I who wrote in the sand. I who put up the photograph. It wasn't so difficult once I was living in the shack. I was hanging around that town for days, waiting to run into you. Somebody told me where I could find you. Somebody? Yes. My husband. The man you murdered. Sam! My husband! My husband! the police. I called them. They said to stall you. written me where their meeting was to be, an old shack in the outskirts of the city. The night I arrived there, I... I heard about his death. He was killed by that beast. But, and from, from that moment on, I wanted one thing. Revenge. That's all you know about the rest. Here. Here are the diamonds. You see, I want to give them back. I don't want anything to blacken the memory of Sam. Mm -hmm. 